and welcome to part 4 A and B Gold 7 um, since last time I had 20 minutes left on the gold booster um, that's now used up so uh, I've ended up at 7.68 million gold that's plenty enough for crafting the push gear um, in bronze which was the last AMB I took part in I used 5 million gold crafting full set of push gear um, and that was to get 277s and I wasted quite a bit of gold and materials on the bracer because I ignored my own rule of um, only crafting uh, epic tier bracers in AMB I went and crafted legendary and it took 30 crafts to get a frost beam bracer which was horrible and terrible design still I'm still always going to say that um, plan for today uh, immolate frost nova frost beam I want to get those up to level 10 uh, so it's going to take five runs of trial 80 uh, we've got 20 hours and 17 minutes there. Trial 80 is going to give us three hour books of learning. Um, I've got one here already, so five more runs takes that up to six, which is 18 hours. These two one hour books and then a couple of 10 minute books, and that's done. Um, so I'm back in the experience farming gear rather than the gold find gear. Uh, what I will need, we've got 4 hours and 15 minutes left on the gameplay clock. I'm going to buy two experience boosters. Uh, they are experience boosters. So those will see us through to the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to use one now. I'm going to use a currency booster as well because of the uh, gemstone drop rate by 400% in trials. Uh, did I use that? No. Me talking and not paying any attention whatsoever. Um, at trial 100, we will also pick up an hour and a half's worth of EXP boosters so those will uh, just bought an hour that will get us down to three hours 15 minutes another hour and a half off from that gets us down to one hour 45 which is more than enough time for the push I'm not going to use anywhere near that because I'm only going to aim somewhere around 140 145 too lazy to go beyond there um, so today we shall start with, i uh, best just check that I've set my skills back as I should be, so they're from above, these can stay as they are. We'll start with these five runs of trial 80 and then that will have our frost beam emulate and nova up to level 10 and I think we'll go and grab the second um, celestial transform from trial 110 but we'll do that with frost beam just because it's going to be quicker Bit a waste of a vortex there never mind First run of the day is going to be rusty. And slow. Ok, 
Okay, that was very slow. Oh, but it's... We only need to do three more runs then, rather than four. Uh, might as well sign those. Okay, two more runs. Oh no, three. Alright, can't. Brain failure for maths. is some good news for PC players in that you might find that your character controls a bit like Bambi on ice in an earthquake on a trampoline on a world made of jelly um, the right click move thing I'm told by Travis is an unintended change. I don't think it's an unintended. Okay, it's that mob that just instantly kills you. Um, I don't think it was an unintended change. I think it was unintended in how bad it is. Um, and that's due to revert back to how it used to be in the next patch, which might be this week. But I'm not going to hold my breath and f for it being June AMB, but there's light at the end of the tunnel in that that's going to get fixed back to how it used to be. Maybe if I paid attention, I might get a good run. Hopefully that patch will also fix those deceitful mobs, which are the things that cause me to be instantly dead in that last run. That is a bug. seconds just see if they would have been better uh, it's just down to seven of those now be nice to be running higher but I'm not too bothered lagging quite a bit now abandon this one because I have no idea where the rest of the mobs are. Just want to check. Yeah, this is the last one that we need to do. It's definitely not worth wasting time hunting down mobs on a map when you're XP farming <laughs>
Okay, so that's those done. Um, so that is 18 hours. Wiped off that clock. That's 20, and these two will complete. Which is great news. So, what I'm going to do is switch Frostbeam in for now. Um, and upgrade Endurance, Glass Cannon, and Power Infusion. I think we are perfectly strong enough to go to run Troll 110 and grab the second uh, Celestial Transform. What I am going to do is switch in a Frostfire Bracer, a Frostbeam Bracer, and stick on a Frostfire Sash uh, for our Frostburns. And that is purely just so I can go run 110. I'm going to restart the game quickly because it's lagging and that's probably because recording's gone on a little long. So I'll be back in one moment. And we are back after a short break this end. Um, I'm going to craft... I'm undecided on the helmet whether to put this pyromaniac thing on or not. Probably not. Um, but I do want on the weapon to stick Slayer on. Uh, it's 150,000 gold plus whatever it's going to cost here. Um, so 30, 75, 225,000 plus some more. But it's not eating into our gold too much. Did I craft those? No. <laughs> My memory is useless. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stick that on uh, a weapon. It's just going to give us some extra boss damage. Um, I may yet put Pyromaniac on the helmet. I'm un I'd rather at the moment farm EXP and materials and get the push gear built before applying a ch enchants to any experience gear. Uh, 102 or 100. Uh, we're in experience gear. 100 is going to be faster when it comes to the boss, so let's stick there. It might turn out that they're both just one frost beam to kill. It's nice to have full size. Immolates now. Occurs to me that we need to slightly alter our play style from the past because they've made some mobs incredibly slow moving. I guess I should hang around and finish these off. And good old right click. Sprinting in instead of attacking.
Oh, that was slow. But we get experience. 20. Hmm. Not bad though. If that is good enough to unlock 110, that's all we care about. Probably wasn't. Let's see. It was. I think they've made these mobs exceedingly slow as a way of trying to close the gap between PC and mobile because it's going to force us to take smaller groups each time otherwise things are going to get left miles behind with the minions now is to wait for them to try and buff Kara and then move them to interrupt their buff rather than just drag them into the beam every time so move it and interrupt very slow but that doesn't matter we were only after getting 110 and the second celestial uh, what have we got here frost nova <laughs> uh, so we have the second celestial we have our currency boosters Experience boosters to get us to the end, a load of gemstones which are going to help, and some glory. So those can go in the bank, in the stash, that can go there until we have some 77s. Um, I'll open these, and then that will probably be it for today as far as recording goes because I'm just going to go back and farm trial 80 I might take a look at 90 see how that looks actually um, back on death from above Let's take one look at 90, 
see if that's a worth actually do we get champion levels only 21 Let's go and look at 90. Make sure we have the right equipment equipped. <laughs> For death from above. Paranoid on skills now. If this is under a minute, then I can probably step up from trial 80 to trial 90 for the rest of the exp farming for now uh, if it isn't then i'm happy sticking at 80. I safely say this isn't going to be under a minute. But nor is it a valid run to check the times. Slayer procking. <laughs> I shall give that another try off camera. That was clearly a terrible, terrible run. Um, gives us 12 champion levels, 80 gives us 7 and a bit but run it in about 50 seconds so I could have run trial 80 twice what it just took to do 90 but due to bugged mobs which ruined the run um, so I'm going to stop recording for now and just do experience farming and see where we are at the end of the day i don't know whether to just use this one and, and stop for the day or what um we've got four days four hours it's an hour a day then it'd be under four hours won't it yeah, i think i'll just run this down so i'll do an end of day wrap up once this boosters finished up i'm going to do one more troll 90 that'll be off camera so i shall see you again very shortly okay uh end of day wrap up um i mostly ran trial 80 um because i was consistently running that around 45 to 50 seconds um, I've made a few changes to the character, which means I can run Troll 90 in uh, about 58, 59 seconds at the moment. So I have now switched to Troll 90. Um, as far as the character goes, uh, hit champion level 1248. Um, our materials, these are building nicely. Uh, we should hit the 400 mark easily across the board. Um, the push character will mostly use air and shadow. 
There will be water going into some life on hit, frost damage, and we'll have some earth going into vitality. Um, so we should have still plenty of water and fire left over to convert into any other essences that we need as we go along. On the skills front, I've switched out fleet footed for glass cannon. Um, I usually, when I've got glass cannon up to level 8, bring it in. Um, I think I brought it in earlier in bronze, um, but uh, I've, I've gone back to my old style of, of using it once it's at level 8. Um, so I've also got those up to level 9, and those three skills are currently on their way to level 10. Um, so books of learning is going to help reduce those time frames immensely. We're synergy level one, two, three. Um, be nice to get up to 130 for an extra bit of attack speed that comes at that level. Uh, what else was there, or was that it? Um, obviously, we saw earlier that we grabbed the Celestial Transform from Troll 110. So our only other targets are Troll 120 and 130 for the glory, and then pushing to somewhere around 140, 145, if I can be bothered. Um, we've got quite a few books sitting here already. We've got enough got two hours of experience boosters and two hours of gold boosters um, I may as well use a cup or at least one of each ready for next time so that gives us half an hour for the next gameplay session which will be purely farming troll 90 um, if you got this far through Thank you very much for watching, any questions or comments put them down below and as always I shall answer you there as soon as I spot them. Thanks once again.